Glenn. So I'm going to have you give me a thumbs up if you think this is a science tool. If you don't think it's a science tool, I'm going to have you give me a thumbs down. All right. Oh, leave your mask on, honey. All right. So thumbs up if it's a science tool or thumbs down if it's not. Okay. So what I have here, I'm going to show you the science tool. Okay. This is a magnifying glass. Do you think that is a science tool? Is that a science tool? Thumbs up. Wonderful. Thumbs down if it's not a science tool. This is a thumbs up. This is a science tool. This is a magnifying glass. It makes me look at things closer. Can you see? It makes me look at things closer. All right. Now, this is a shovel. Is that shovel a science tool? Oh, my friend right up front, he says no. Good job. Good job. No, this is not a science tool. Someone put that away. Oh, no, we've been using a lot of these, and I'm going to get one right back here. Let's see. Oh, these. These are, is a, this right here, this is a thermometer. Is that a science tool? Oh, my friends, yes. Look at that. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yes. Thumbs up. This is a thermometer. And this measures um, liquid, so water, juice. This measures the temperature outside. This measures the weather. Okay. So these are science. This is a science tool. Oh, you gotta tell me if it's a science tool or a toy. <laughs> this is my friend Ellie the elephant. Okay, is Ellie the elephant a science tool? Oh, oh, good job! Yay, friends! Ellie the elephant says no. This is not a science tool. This is a toy. So we would definitely not use Ellie the elephant for a science tool. So good job. My next one that I have. Okay, separate. The next one that I have is a tape measure. Is this tape measure, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, is the tape measure a science tool? Oh, oh, friends, oh, I can see everyone's hands. Yes, my friend right here up front, good job. Look, yes, a tape measure is a science tool, so everyone should have their thumbs up. Good job. Now this tape measure measures maybe how tall I am, how long I am. Here's another type of tape measure. Oh, I can wrap and see how big my head is. All right. So today what we're going to be looking at are science tools that a scientist, just like Miss Eel here, no, no, this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Another, so I have on some safety. I have my lab coat on. I have my goggles here. Hey, friends, take a seat. Crisscross so everybody can see, please. Yep, crisscross. Thank you. And these are my science goggles. And I keep all of this on so that I am safe during science. All right. So Miss Eel's gonna go ahead and I am going to show you a video. And this video is going to be about science tools. Okay, so now I'm gonna share my screen with all of you. I have my science video up. And I'm going to grab it here and start sharing that science video with you. So everyone's sitting crisscross and doing a great job. Awesome. Here we go, these are science tools.
And Carolina, you can see the video? No, Jed. No, Jed, it's a uh, paper, but white paper. Yeah, now. Now I Thank can you. see you. Our plant is growing fast. Ooh. I'm going to measure the leaves. Okay, everybody. That's what? not the right tool, Moby. Scientists use tools to investigate the world around them and collect information. What tools measure length, width, or height? A ruler, meter stick, and tape measure are tools that measure length, width, or height. You can use units like millimeters or inches to measure small things. You can use centimeters or feet to measure bigger things. For even bigger things, you can use meters. The distance is the measurement between two places or points. You can use units like kilometers or miles to measure distance. I'm going to use a ruler to measure the length of this leaf in centimeters. Remember, when you measure, line up the end of the item with the zero. Do not line it up with the one. Let's see. This leaf is eight centimeters long. It's important to choose the right tool to use when you measure. Well, it doesn't make sense to use a tape measure to measure the distance to New York City. When you measure, use the unit that works best. If you measure distance in centimeters, the number would be too big to work with easily. What tools measure weight? and mass. Weight is a measure of how heavy something is. You can use a scale to measure weight. Scales can look pretty different from each other. You can use units like ounces to weigh small items and use pounds to weigh heavier ones. You can use tons to weigh really heavy things. Mass is the amount of matter in something. A scale can use grams to measure the mass of small things and kilograms to measure the mass of bigger things. A balance scale is a tool that helps you compare the weight or mass of different objects. Right, Moby, the lemon weighs less than the apple, so that side of the balance scale moves up. What tools measure volume? No, Moby, not that kind of volume. Volume is the amount of space an object takes up. Tools like measuring cups, measuring spoons, beakers, and graduated cylinders measure volume. You can measure in milliliters for smaller volumes and liters for larger amounts. A dropper is a tool that measures small volumes. You stick the dropper in liquid and squeeze the end. A pipette is a long, thin tube that you stick in liquid to measure volume. I'm going to use this graduated cylinder to water the plant. When you measure the volume of a liquid, like water, you'll see the surface curve. Look at where the bottom of the curve lines up with the numbers on the tool. What tools help you look at things closely? Binoculars are tools that help you see things that are far away. They allow you to observe things without going near them. A telescope allows you to observe stars, planets, and other bodies in space. Microscopes and hand lenses help you see things up close. To use a hand lens, move the tool closer or farther away from the object until you can see the image clearly. Now, Miss Eel just showed you what a um, magnifying glass was. I just showed you what a hand tool was, okay? So we're going to continue, but I just showed you what one of those were and how you can look nice and closely. What are some other tools that help you gather information? Thermometers measure temperature. You can measure in degrees Fahrenheit or degrees Celsius. A windsock can tell you the direction the wind is blowing. A calendar 
clock, watch, and stopwatch can help you measure and keep track of time. Magnets can help you figure out if objects have iron in them. It's important to stay safe as you explore the world around you and run experiments. You can use goggles to protect your eyes and wear gloves to protect your arms and hands. You can also wear aprons to protect your skin and clothing. Another really important tool is your notebook or computer. You can use it to record your observations and measurements and keep your data organized. You thought of another tool? What is it? A time machine? I don't know about this, Moby. That didn't work. Moby! Over here. Right there. All right. Okay, so now Miss Eel is going to stop sharing that right there. And who can raise their hand and tell me what is a science tool? Oh, raise your hand. And Miss Carolina, can you pick on some friends and have them tell me what, what is a science tool? Tell me an example. Okay, Penelope. A magnifying glass. A magnifying glass. Everyone give her a hand. Yes. Good job. Right, another friend. What is this? What will give you a science tool? What's your name, buddy? Okay. What's your name? Okay. Ender. Okay. All right, honey. What are you? What is a? What is a science tool? A ruler. A ruler, yes, a ruler is a science tool. Good job. Make sure you sit down and if you're sitting on it, sit on it. Okay, okay. another right here up front. Thank you. Yeah. What's your name, buddy? A science tool that you can measure. Oh, like a tape measure? Yeah. Okay, a tape measure, good job, awesome. All right, anybody else has a science tool? Yeah, right here. What's a science tool? A hammer. Did you say a hammer? Oh, a hammer. Okay, yeah, we could use that. All right, good job. Anybody else has one more? Oh, I really, oh, I really like how some of you are sitting crisscross. Okay. What, what are you? What, what science tool do you know? A wrench. A wrench? Oh yeah, I mean, we could kind of use that as a science tool if we had to tighten stuff. That, that's more of like a tool. All right, so yes. now what Miss Eel has is I am going to... Um, no, what's your name, buddy? I'm gonna show you how, how we are going to um, we're going to sort science tools. So I have some science tools that we are that we are going to sort. Okay. Hey, my friend that's standing up over there, come on over and take a seat. Sit down, crisscross. All right. Yep. Sit down, crisscross, please. So Miss Eel has some science tools. Okay. And Miss Carolina, Miss Glowacki gave you the science tools. Yes, I'm pass to everybody. Yep, so we are going to, and I, I kind of will show them what we're going yep. to be doing. Yep. Okay, yes, perfect. So each student will have, um, we'll get this. Okay. All right. So each student will get their science tools, and we are going to work on this together. We're going to cut out if we think that it is a science tool or if it's a science, if it's a toy. Okay, everybody needs to cut out. Uh, you know, I don't Ellie, know. the elephant was a toy. So if I put a teddy bear on here, 
I would put my my teddy bear under the tools part of it. So if you want to go ahead and I will have you set them up. Each kid is going to need a pair of scissors and a glue stick. And they're going to need the science tools and toys. Oh, I don't know what is the scissors. That's okay. She said that they should have them in their desk. Um, in their um, in their um, pencil container. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go over some of the pictures that we have here, friends. So Miss Yule can still see you. All right. I'm going to go over some of the pictures that we have here. We are going to put it if it's a science tool or a science toy. All right. Okay, so I, I've got my pictures, and just like you, I'm cutting all my pictures out. I'm using my good scissor skills. I wish I cut it away. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like the scissor skills. It up. It's no worries. It happens. Okay. 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 Well, let's take it. Everybody, go ahead and find the the teddy bear. If you have found the teddy bear right here, you are going to put it that it's a science tool or a science toy. What do we think? Toy. Toy. Oh, my friend right here up front. You are so smart. Good job. So we are going to go ahead and paste that one down. That says a teddy bear. A teddy bear. So I'm going to use my glue and I'm going to glue the teddy bear down by toy. Okay. Okay. Now, here is my, hey, my friend that's right there, what are you doing with your bag? Oh, hey, I can see you. All right, Miss Seal is right here, I'll show you. I'm, I'm right here, I can see all of you. So remember that, I'm just showing you how I work with my hands. So my friend there, I need to make sure that you are listening and paying attention. Good, I've got the teddy bear and it should be down with the toys. Now here is my so another one that I have, okay? And that is my hand lens. So everybody grab your hand lens, all right? Your hand lens. And let's go ahead and put it up for science tools. Okay, so have them all cut out. And we're basically just sorting hand lens, which is looks just like this. This is also called a magnifying glass, right? And we're going to put that down for a hand lens. Okay? I hope everybody, I'm gonna come around and see and Miss Carolina is gonna collect them. Oh, right. Right. okay guys. Yes. All right, so here's my next one, a ball. There is a ball right here. Oh, ball? That ball. Yeah. Is it the science tool? Yeah, look, look. That ball, is that a tool? Is no. A tool? It's no, not a tool. No, it's, it's a toy. That's a toy I really like playing with. Whoa. That's a toy. Um, that is a toy. Now, what I have also here is called a, it's called a magnet. My friends up front, do you, can you get out your magnet? And this is actually what a magnet is. A magnet helps things stick together. I could use a, magnets can stick together with a metal, cobalt, steel, nickel, all right? My, my scissors here stick to a magnet. So a magnet is used as a science tool. So we're gonna go ahead and put down science tool. Okay, good job. I see a lot of you following along. You're doing such an excellent job. Wow. 
So let's get some of those down. Yeah, good job. This one is mine. This one is yours, right? Yeah. What a great job. Oh, no, that's okay. So another science tool that I have on my paper there is a dropper. And this is a dropper. It's a, a toy or it's a science tool? So a dropper actually will take in water and slowly drop out water because it's called a dropper. And scientists use this to, if they're trying to drop small liquid. All right, they're trying to use a small amount of liquid. So a dropper, and I don't know if you've ever seen one of those before, but a dropper is a science tool. All right, so dropper. This is what a dropper looks like. It starts with the letter D, dropper, D, D, D. Dropper, a dropper is a science tool, a dropper. Now, if you end up losing one, don't worry. I'm trying to make sure we get you another one. Okay, now another one, let's look. Oh, blocks. Man, I love playing with blocks. Hey, my friend right there, you need to get out your block. Right there, I can see you, my friend. Yeah, you're standing up, you got the green mask on. Yeah, I can see you. <laughs> Hey, right there, my friend with the green mask. Hey, I need you to turn around and you need to get out your stuff. All right? I got out my stuff. Yeah, let's get out your things, please. Okay. Okay. These blocks. These blocks right here. Okay. That's blocks. That's going to be paste down with toys. All right, so we're gonna paste this down. The blocks, those are so much fun, but those are blocks are a toy. Okay. Now your paper should look start looking like mine. So if you are standing up, you are walking around the classroom, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. All right, so some of my friends need to make sure you are sitting down. You've got your glue stick and your scissors, and you are doing your work. All right, there should be no walking around the classroom right now. Take a seat to where you need to be. Take a seat. There should be no walking around the classroom right now. All right, does he need help here in the red shirt right there with the red mask? walking around. All right, so here we go. We're going to continue. Now this, this is a cool one. This is called a microscope. And Miss Neal's going to grab a microscope and show it to you. All right. So this is called a microscope. It starts with the letter M. Mmm, microscope. Is this a microscope? Yeah. Yeah, check this out. Look at this big, huge, giant microscope. And what you do is you look through this microscope to see different science tools and things, science um, particles and things that would go in there. So this is a giant microscope. Yeah, microscope. All right, I'll show it to you. Um, that one, I'm going to show it to you. I'll, I'll pull it back up. Let's show you the microscope, okay? This one. This one right here is microscope. Starts with the letter M. Mmm. Microscope. Mm. Um, um, is, it, is it a tool? Oh, yes, that is a tool. Good job. So a microscope is a tool that we use. That scientists like myself, that's what we use. So there's a microscope. Okay. Now, this is a tool too. Yeah, what is that? It's called a beaker. Hey, what yeah, is that? That's called a beaker. It starts with 
the B. B, B, B. Find the one that starts with the B. Beaker. B, B. Sophia finished. Them just look like. Oh, good. Now, if you would like, if they're finished, they can color their science tools Sophia. and toys. She's Some of them are finished. Good job, honey. Yay. Now, yeah. next one I have is called a balance scale. The balance scale. Oh, yeah. balance. Also, b, b. a balance scale is also a, to a tool. This is a tool that we use to measure objects. It's something oh, it's a science tool. This is science tools. Is this science? Yeah. Yeah, right there. There you got it. Okay, now another one that we have is a choo-choo train. Choo-choo! This train right here is a toy. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the train down there for a toy. Okay? And Miss Carolina, your video just went out, so I'm not too sure. All right, so there's a train there. The next one is, ooh, I love playing with Play-Doh. That Play-Doh right there is a toy. So I'm gonna put that down here. So Play-Doh, Play-Doh is a toy, okay? And then my last one is called a graduated cylinder. And this is a big long tube that holds liquid. So I'm gonna make sure that I have this put down for science tool. All right. So right here is my graduated cylinder. So I should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven science tools are up here. And then at the bottom, I should have toys. One, two, three, four, five. I should have one, two, three, four, five toys. Okay. Now, um, Carolina, hopefully you can help some of those students with making sure they have their science tools and their toys done. When they are completely finished, if they want to go ahead and color, they may. Or if they know of another science tool they want to draw here, or a toy that they would like to draw, um, they may. So Miss Eel's going to say, all right. Thank you very much, everybody, in Miss Glowacki's classroom. I want to say thank you for um, learning about science tools and science toys today. All right, Miss Carolina, maybe you could bring up their video on her laptop because I can't see you. Um, and I could wave goodbye to everybody. So, bye kindergartners, thank you so much. Yeah, bye. Okay.